what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel we're looking at a few news updates with a few different outlets regarding the rtx 50 series and of course some secret sauce that amd may not miss their opportunity to impress the public and the gamer community right and of course just anybody who likes pc stuff so first off we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this news from wccf tech saying that the 5090 could take up to 16 weeks to get stocked and of course this is based off of a uk retailer but we know uh things in the uk kind of tend to arrive later than it does in the us so this will kind of be a gauge for us to realize and see where uh we can get our opportunity to buy these and not buy from scalpers so remember not buy from scalpers let them sit on it i've already seen two on my local marketplace on facebook one guy sold one for i think 3500 bucks please don't be like i can't believe you spent 3500 dollars 5090 like that is ridiculous and it wasn't even for like the aftermarket one it was just a founder's card and then another guy was selling a 5080 for 1500 bucks but it was a base model so like a uh, msrp card in a thousand so this this scalper made 500 or 600 bucks or whatever so just be patient you know rock rock what you have right now and uh make the best of it i'm making the best of my 3070 ti and uh honestly <clears throat> there is a new video that i have re recording off of the elgato 4kx and the 3070 ti in black ops 6 it kind of shows you how nice that gp really is still even to this day at 4k so um right here pre-orders for the nvidia rtx 5090 and 5080 ceased right the 5090 is supposed to come back in three to 16 weeks yeah right there's the chinese new year that's happening all these factories are closed over there and things are just stopped you know stopped production essentially for the holidays over there so we're really not going to see anything come out for a while really painful because like i said i wanted to get one of get one of these cards in my hands and then um <clears throat> honestly if i can pick up the 5080 here in the next two to six weeks <clears throat> what i'll do if you guys are subscribed i will sell you guys 5080 for what i paid it for to one of you guys there all you have to do is pay for shipping right so i don't know if i'm gonna do that as a raffle or, or whatnot but We'll see what happens if I can even get my hands on any one of these cards. So if not, I'm going to probably just pick up a 7900 XTX for now just to utilize in the system so I can do some content creation and some recording for that time being. But as you guys can see here, uh, 5080 restock, things like that. And I'll have this article here for you guys so you guys can look over it yourselves and comb through it. So the next thing that I want to bring up is the release of... Ta -da! the 5060 ti and 5060 now there has been some news of the actual specs right there has i don't i forgot where i saw it but there's been rumors already that the 5060 or 5060 ti will have 16 gigs of vram and 8 gig model so there'll be two options that you can get but honestly if the 16 gig sells at 450 bucks just like the 40 uh, 60 ti or 40 60 16 gig or 12 gig or whatever it was sells i don't think that'll be a good price because if amd sells a faster card for cheaper or the same price uh it's not really gonna make any sense so phase three right we're in phase three of the 5060 uh, and 5060 ti it'll follow up the 5070 um and of course some um, price leaks and things like that possible speculations on what it could be for the cost of these cards but again just like here right tag for the 4060 pre, uh, price was originally at 499 for the 16 gig which just sucked right because now you have the 570 rtx 570 at 12 gigs with 549 so like 50 bucks difference obviously the 5070 is a lot faster than the 5060 ti or 5060 whatever one you get you're gonna have just better performance overall and uh yeah so you guys can read through that that article will be linked down here below but another thing we're gonna move into is nvidia's app update brings dlss for over to the 50 series and 40 series which i believe the 40 series are working on getting that done right now there are some videos out there that that go over this for um for use case and things like that and you could see here um the chart dlss4 features you're gonna see where these cards will carry right over so 
some interesting stuff if you guys wanted to take a look into that just wanted to bring this out to you guys so you guys are aware of the tech so if you're still thinking about going either from a 20 30 series card to a 40 or 50 series card and you're like well maybe i can squeeze some life out of these older gpus that you have or your current gpu this might be some hardware tech that you guys were sorry hardware software tech that you can use to kind of extend the life of your current gpu so you don't have to pay scalper prices right <clears throat> and then of course this right here um smooth motion will not be exclusive to geforce rtx uh 50 series so another thing that breaks down what that software support can do so for anyone on the previous generation again i've linked this article here so you guys can kind of do a deep dive so don't want to speak too much on this so like i said there's other people out there that know more about this tech and the software side of things for you guys to check out so uh, like i said article is down below but this is the most exciting thing right here amd is releasing their x3d parts as well as their gpus at the same time around march and this is off of video cards website this is the rumor that's going around i just got my 7950x i don't know if i should get a 9950x 3d or 9950x i don't know let me know down below in the comments guys what you guys think and who would want my 7950x if i did pick up one of these things but the gpus are what i am more excited about because <clears throat> as you guys saw in that previous article the 5060 5060 ti 500 bucks for some junk maybe right <clears throat> nvidia greedy people there <clears throat> and um yeah so more news here for you guys to take a look at um if you've been waiting for higher core part x3d parts uh, march will be your time to celebrate and then hopefully them scalpers don't go after these either so again remember don't buy from scalpers let these guys fall on their face and let them lose out on whatever it is that they're spending on so you can see here 9950x 3d 16 cores 32 threads an amazing chip i have the 7950x and it is amazing and then you have the 9900 x3d um for other there's that are, are interested in that and then here's also another breakdown of the cpus that you guys can go through comparing it for the uh, ryzen 9000 uh, series for their cpu bridge so um if you guys want to know more again like i said i've linked all these articles down below for you guys to check out for yourselves and read in more too and of course we have amd fluid motion frames 2 right that preview is available and this this tech is available to all different um generations of their of their gpus um just kind of like how um what's that called uh fsr is right so this this article right here or this breakdown on their website will show you guys support for their fluid motion frames too and of course goes into more detail and again like i said just some software stuff for you guys to check out right um again i want you guys to get more informed on this so you guys will be better equipped on making that decision to either upgrade stick to whatever you have now and or hunt for your next gpu like i am so if you guys enjoyed today's video you guys know what to do drop in a like and of course if you're new here subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any new gameplays hardware reviews or discussions and testing coming here soon so without further ado guys you guys know what it is it's red zone signing off keeping it real keeping it hot and keeping it raw your normal nine to five guy bringing you some high quality content for you guys to enjoy see you guys on the next video deuces